Hi, this is Android TV Boxes. Uh, I'm the Bear, and this is a very, uh, say, simple tutorial um, for people that have been asking me questions about how to customize um, the skins on XBMC. Now, the skin I'm using here is Confluence Customizable Mod or CCM. Um, it's a very popular skin that allows you to make some changes, some pretty decent changes as well. I mean, you, your imagination is basically you know, the limit and what you can do. Um, <coughs> I'm going to assume for this video um, that you have already installed CCM. Um, I put a link below to how to get the repository um, and then you activate the skin as normal. If you don't know how to do that then perhaps this video isn't really for you just yet. Um, you kind of need to know what you're doing with XBMC in order to be able to navigate around the screen quite quickly. Um, I'm also going to assume that you've installed Fusion, Mashup and iStream. If you haven't, refer to some of my other videos and uh, you'll be able to sort of crack on with that. Um, so, uh, we're going to get started. Um, you can see here from my favourites I have no customizations whatsoever. Um, under my video add-ons I have a list of add-ons that have been installed to the system. Again, I've just run the Fusion installer just to give me a mixture of, of add-ons. Um, I've obviously installed Mashup and iStream as well. As I said, you know, I made the assumption here that you, you have done some uh, setups on your machine. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's get going. So uh, I'm going to just show you the menu very quickly. As you can see, it's a pretty flat menu system at the moment. There isn't really anything there that jumps out at you and says, "Oh, I know what you're doing. You know, this is where you want to go, etc." Um, obviously, these are quite self-explanatory at the moment. Pictures gives you display of your pictures that you've installed to XBMC um, or catalogued videos. Any videos that you've catalogued, obviously, you've got access to your add-on section as well. Um, family is a menu system that gets built or exploded when you uh, catalog files and videos to the SBMC installation um, and they are checked to say uh, they are family safe um, when you add a video or you add local media and uh, you tell it that it is videos they will go and check against IMDB and other sources to confirm that it is fine so um, Virgin isn't <laughs> sound CD, but it's not. It's just a radio station. Uh, music is your music add-ons, and obviously any uh, any music that you've actually catalogued on XBMC. If we look at the add-ons here, you'll see that there's a couple. Um, there aren't many. Um, certainly, these are the ones that come with uh, XBMC uh, Hub. So, um, what we've also got here as well is, is if you look underneath the programs menu, you'll see that the uh, what would traditionally be the system menu has now moved um, from system to actually now underneath programs. So you can move that back if you want and we'll explain that as well at some point. Um, one of the key features of this menu is the skin settings. This is where we're going to do most of our uh, changes. This is, this is the area that we're interested in. Um, so I'm going to crack on with this now. Uh, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to start creating some shortcuts. We need to start getting some content ready. Um, so the first thing that people ask me for is how do I get a menu on the front screen to UK Live TV? Well, it's pretty simple. Okay, we're going to go to videos and add-ons. What we're going to do is we're going to open up FTV. This is just an example. You know, you, there are other plugins out there that will work just as well, but FTV seems to work without a VPN because it uses the film on stuff as well so if we open up UK Live TV we'll just show you it working and uh, we're just going to open up BBC One for example we'll go for the generic BBC One and not one of the regional ones just to show that it works um, so Denise Van Alton lovely um, we'll turn that off <coughs> so obviously these are the channels here they're available inside uh, FTV for UK Live TV this is essentially what we call Freeview in the UK um, you know, obviously, if you're outside of the States and you want to do other stuff and you know, use other channels, then feel free. The process is exactly the same. So, we're inside FTV, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a shortcut. So, we're going to add this to favorites. Now, I'm on a Windows device because of recording, so um, certainly on the device, you need to know how to bring up the context menu. If you have an, uh, a Matricom or a um, an MX device, it is the blue menu button in the top right hand corner. If you're on a, a Minix device, it's the button that's got three bars on there. Apple TV, I haven't got a clue. I'm sorry guys, I don't use Apple. Uh, Raspberry Pi, obviously that depends on the menu. Um, 
sorry, the uh, remote control that you've got. If you're on a Windows device, just press C. That's all you need to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this to favorites. Okay, and if we go back to the main screen and click on the star, you'll see that UK Live TV is now a favorite. And as soon as I click on it, it opens up straight away. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this now as a menu. So we need to navigate across to skin settings. Okay. We need to go to home button menu. And we're going to scroll down. And we're just going to look for, you know, one of the existing menus that already exists. Um, so we've got, obviously, a load of menus here. There's a couple of blank ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in one of the blank ones. So we're going to go to menu item 5. Okay. When you click on it, it'll ask you to uh, select what you want the menu to do. In this instance, you can use a favourites, UK Live TV. All I'm going to do is just name it UK Live TV. Click done. Okay. I'm going to untick sub menu set. I'm also going to untick widget set. Go back to the home screen. Scroll across. There's UK Live TV. As soon as I click on it, it instantly opens up FTV. So that's one menu system created. Now you can obviously expand into that as well. So if you wanted to say, I don't know, you absolutely love BBC One. So right click or context menu again, add to favourites, and then say, oh, I don't know, I really like CBS drama. You know, my wife's big on this, I need to watch it. Add to favourites. Right, so... <clears throat> Now that we've added them to our favourites, if we look in our favourites, we'll see here that they exist. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to add them to the sub-menu. So a sub-menu is effectively these menus that appear underneath. You see these menus here, it says files and add-on. These are sub-menus. They exist below the main menu tree. Now we want to create some sub-menus here, um, and we want to link specifically to those channels. So what we do is we navigate over to the skin settings menu, we go to sub menu and we need to scroll right to the bottom. Uh, it's quite a long list so take your time um, but you'll get there and you'll start to see some of the user selection stuff. So what we're going to do is first of all highlight user friendly lane for user selection 1 and I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call this UK Live TV user so I know what it is. Okay, now obviously you can name this anything you want, but as long as you keep an eye on what you've named it and you can remember what it is, you know, we're fine. So I've clicked on sub menu item one. I'm going to go to user favorites, BBC One, done. Go to sub menu item two, user favorites, CVS drama, done. Now, I'll show you this quickly. Um, just because you've added them doesn't mean that they're going to appear. They haven't appeared. We haven't told the menu system to use that sub menu. So we go back to skin settings. We then go to the home menu button and we scroll down to the UK Live TV option that we created. We're going to select sub menu set and it's going to come up with a list of options. We're going to go to UK Live TV user. This is what I named it. And that's done. When I go back to the main screen, there's the sub menus. So BBC One, CBS Drama. So if I click on BBC One, this will instantly open up BBC One for me. Using the FTV plugin, okay, it will go so straight there. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty useful. Now, instantly you can think, well, I can do a lot with this. I can start, you know, setting up menu systems for movies and stuff like that. Exactly. This is, this is what it's all about. You can do so much with this. Um, so we're going to customize this one here. This is already existed. You know, the video ones already exist. We're just going to play with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up an add-on, and for argument's sake, I'm going to go to Go Movies. Bear in mind, Go Movies is being retired. It's going to be Genesis very shortly. I'm going to go to Popular. Okay. When I look inside Popular, you see that there's a lot of film details. Um, certainly, a lot of the newer films are in there. Um, and films that pe basically people are watching right now because you know it's it's the popular section, <laughs> you know. Um, it takes a few seconds to load, obviously. Um, I don't think it's made to film, so I just think it's the collaboration of the collection of data that's happening right now. 
So once that's added, we can see here that there's loads of different content to watch, right? So again, go back out, we're in the main menu where we're under popular and we've got Oscars, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the context menu. Again, blue menu button, three bars, or C on your keyboard, Raspberry Pi, uh, whatever your, your remote's got. Um, and for Apple TV viewers, sorry guys, I'm going to click. Add to favorites. And go back to the main screen. And you'll see here that under my favorites, I've now got popular. But that doesn't make sense. What does it mean? I, I don't. There's no. There's no sort of uh, wording there that ties it back to something else. So I'm, I need to rename this. Bring up the context menu again. Go to rename. So I'm going to call it popular movies. Okay. And we're going to go back to um, the system menu and we're going to configure this sub menu set here. So I have it. So we can go programs, skin settings, <coughs> and go sub menu items. Okay. This is the, the videos one here. What we're going to do is we're going to go sub menu item 7 and we're going to go to user favorites, popular movies, add it. Okay. That's it. That's all that we need. If we now go back to the main screen, go to videos, you'll see now popular movies now is now there. Now I'm going to click on it, take a few minutes, or take a few moments, shall I say, a few minutes. Because obviously it's cataloging information, the straight away I've got access to the screen. So there we go. Um, I'm not going to show you much more now because basically XBMC is all about playing and trying yourself. Okay, People like myself in the community, we will give you the information to help you get started and to help you get underway. But what we're not going to do is we're not going to teach you how to uh, basically suck X. You, you need to start learning and trying things for yourself. Um, I will show you though very quickly how to change your backgrounds. So I've already downloaded a load of backgrounds um, and I've got them ready. Whatever device that you've got you need to download a background to and store it in a folder somewhere on your device so that you can reference it. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back to programs, skin settings, okay, navigate down to background and You've got a global background, which is basically one image for every menu set, or you can set up um, background pictures depending on which menu system that you're in. And as you see, you travel through the menu system, it'll actually bring up the different options. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to UK Live TV, okay? I'm going to select single image, okay? And this gives me all the images that are available currently with the skin. But I've actually brought this background that I want to use outside of the skin, so I need to navigate out of the entire system, um, and I need to then go and get the the background itself. So we go backgrounds, and I've decided I'm going to use Kryptonite because I really like that one. And it's changed. That's it. Now you can see this pulsating thing in the background, right? We want to turn that off. That slows down devices. Let's turn that off. Go to programs, skin settings, general, and it's right at the very uh, the bottom. I say right at the very bottom. In fact, it's not very at the right at the very bottom. It's where is it actually? It's actually right at the top. Uh, it's called uh, raindrop effect. So all we need to do is enable it, turn it off. Now there's another um, thing that this skin automatically does as well. This skin likes to um, play a movie when you first start up XBMC. It's just a welcome to XBMC video. Um, you have a right pain in the neck and it'll slow down your experience. So uh, let's see, turn that off. So it's under general, right at the bottom, turn off enable XBMC intro movie. That's it. And that's how things are done guys, it's really simple. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have making it. Um, hopefully this will help you in your customization quest to make your XBMC environment a lot more controllable for yourself and a lot more defined for you. Um, if you have any problems or questions, please, you know, feel free to leave any comments below. Um, I've referenced, obviously, the hybrid theory below. Hybrid theory? 
could have uh, the hybrid development uh, repository down in the comments section. Um, I've also linked you to some of my videos as well that will allow you to set up Fusion, HMMC Hub, um, the Mashup and my stream as well. Um, whilst you're reading this or watching this shall I say, uh, pop over to XBMC users on Facebook, uh, it's facebook.com slash groups slash xbmc.users, um, say hello to all the guys over there, if you have any problems with XBMC these guys will help you out. Um, now uh, obviously as time changes XBMC is going to become Cody, um, so you know the group will still exist, they may have a new name but uh, I'm not actively involved in that group anymore. Um, so, there we go. Um, all I can say is, yeah, crack on. Um, let me know how you get on. Uh, if you want to, post any links below to pictures of your, your, your layout and we'll have a look. Take care now. Bye.